Hey, it's Kay. Today we're going to go over how to brief a case. The case that we will be using is Garrett vs. Daly. Link is in the description. Let's go. Alright, so on the left I have a PDF of the case Garrett vs. Daly, which I downloaded from Google. This is the full case. Most likely your textbook will have a shorter version of this case. On the right, I already started out with the outline of my case brief, which starts with the name of the case. Then you have the facts, procedure, issue, holding, reasoning, disposition, dissent, or concurrence if it's included, and class notes. So first, the information um, that you should start with is the chapter and section name. This will help guide you and narrow your focus to what issue you should be focusing on in the case. Now, I use different colors to represent the different parts of my case. And um, this is something I do when I'm briefing a case using the hard copy of the textbook as well. The information that is in blue is the information that's usually in a caption of the case, and this is where you'll find your parties, your issuing court, and the date. In this case, it is Garrett versus Daly, Supreme Court of Washington, and the date of the decision was February 14th, 1955. Again, what's in blue is the caption of the case. And now we will start with the facts, which are highlighted in purple. So the facts, sometimes there are lengthy descriptions of the facts of the case and you may not need all of those details. So you want to look at the details that explain why the case is in court right now. So what gave rise to the cause of action. Here it was daily pulling the chair from underneath um, Garrett and she fell and fractured her hip. Now we are going to look for what happened in the lower court, which I highlighted in green. I use green to represent the procedure. Here you want to know what the lower court, the trial court, maybe the district court, what were their findings. So the issue is sometimes stated explicitly in the case. It may say the issue is whether the trial court erred and so and so, or the question presented is blah, blah. But this case does not do that. So a good tip is to look at the chapter and section name of where the case is in your textbook. And here it was in the intent section and we're dealing with minors. So that gave a clue to what issue the court decided in this case. When you get to the reasoning section, you would want to look at any rules, statute, or case law that was referenced by the judges to support any conclusions they came to. Here, um, case law was referenced, Paul versus Humo, and Restatement of Torts, Section 13 was referenced which I highlighted in red for the rules, and I also highlighted in yellow some more reasoning of um, explanations of what the court considered when making their decision. The disposition is how the court disposes of the case, and usually the court affirms, reverses, or remands the case. Some cases the case is dismissed. You can include more information in this section if you would like, but I usually just go with one of those three. I also add information on the dissent or concurrence if it's included. If it's not included, which is the case here, then you can leave that blank. I also put class notes. All right, that concludes this tutorial on how to do a case brief. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Um, keep in mind that this is what works for me and add or change to it however you like.